Mario Gomez. The first cry. The first cry. Mario Gomez. human existence, our ancient ancestors waited with great anticipation to hear one of the greatest sounds that the human ear has ever heard. The first cry of a newborn baby. The first cry is painful because it fully activates the heart to pump blood into the lungs. The first cry is inspirational because it stimulates the baby to inhale the sweet breath of life. The first cry is joyous because it is the birth of the spoken word and it announces to the world, I am here! Contest chair, fellow Toastmasters, and welcome guests. Wow, what an amazing entrance into the world. And it makes me think about my not so amazing entrance into the world of Toastmasters. In 2011, I went to the Edgewood Public Library to find a book on positive thinking. And as I searched, I found a brochure about Toastmasters. And it talked about the personal and professional benefits, how it could enhance your communication and leadership skills. And I was intrigued. Fortunately, the Toastmasters Club met at that very library. And I joined their next meeting. I had a great time. The next week, I signed up for my icebreaker. All of a sudden, I had a feeling of impending doom. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember asking myself, do you realize what you just signed up for? <laughs> the week leading up to my speech, I prepared relentlessly. And when the time came to speak, I was ready. I was confident. I started my speech with gusto for the first five seconds of my speech. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, my mouth became extremely dry. My heart raced like a stampede of wild horses. I felt sick. My stomach began to rumble and thunder. And I thought all of a sudden, I wish I was wearing Depends right now. <laughs> I panicked and I ran. And as I stood in between the bookcases, I felt a deep sense of failure and shame. In hindsight, I now realize that that first cry, although painful, was necessary. Because it had broken the ice of fear that froze my voice. And at that very moment, I was delivered as a newborn speaker in Toastmasters. <laughs> A few weeks later, while at work, I was speaking with my supervisor, and I noticed he had a Toastmasters booklet on his desk. And I asked him, are you a Toastmaster? And he smiled, and he said yes. And he began to tell me about how wonderful Toastmasters was and how it had transformed his life. It improved his communication and his leadership skills. Then he invited me to attend. 
So I confided in John. I told John about my crash and burn experience. <laughs> and John told me about his automobile crash that resulted in him being paralyzed from the waist down. And then he shared a powerful story about how he overcame his disability, how he faced uncertainty and overcame <coughs> unthinkable odds. He made a conscious decision that he would live life to the fullest, even if he could never walk again. At that moment, I had my first cry of inspiration. You see, John taught me how to confront and walk past my fear of public speaking. Last year, I spoke at the annual Disability Mentoring Day for high school students. Interestingly enough, it was for the Cannon McMillan High School in this area. I spoke to high school students that had all forms of disabilities. Now, if you know anything about high school students, you know it's a monumental task to get their attention. <laughs> but as I told them stories about Ludwig von Beethoven, Albert Einstein, and Helen Keller, they were fascinated. And then when I told them about my personal hero and best friend John Snyder, and how he had helped me overcome my fear of public speaking, they were blown away. Finally, I proclaimed to them that they were special, that they all had the talents and abilities which are the seeds of great achievement, and that the world was a better place because they were here. They erupted in applause and cheers. And at that moment, I had my first cry of pure joy. And it made me understand Mark Twain's quote, the two most important days of your life are the day you were born and the day you find out why. So I say to you, find your voice, find your purpose, find your reason why, and then embrace your first cry. Contact check.